Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to see how Ajax is used in JSF. Now, what is this Ajax? The full form of Ajax is Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Now, Ajax is a very great tool to create a dynamic web page. Now, what is this dynamic web page? Whenever you uh, click a button, okay, the request will go to the server and the server will uh, send the response back and the page will be refreshed to display the response. But when you use Ajax, the request is sent to the server. The server will respond asynchronously to the web page. It means the web page will not be refreshed in the same web page. The content will be the result of the request will be updated in the same web page without refreshing the entire web page. It means the web page will not be reloaded. The data is sent by the server asynchronously. That is the speciality about Ajax. Okay, so if you have a very big web page, and in your web page, you have a form, you enter some values in the form and you click a button. The request will go to the server. The server has to send a response back and the response has to be displayed in the web page, right? So the page will not be reloaded when it displays the response. Instead, asynchronously, the server will send the response to the web page without reloading. It prints the result of the request. That is the speciality about uh, Ajax. Okay, so without reloading the page, we will be able to see the result. Uh, so in JSF, you have a special tag called as uh, Ajax tag. So here you can tell which component you want to execute and which component you want as an output. So without reloading the page, you can see this component will be executed and in your output, you can see uh, this component. Okay, so this is the tag we will use to create an Ajax code. Now let's see an example uh, program. So I'll create a new project here. I will call it as Ajax. So here I'll create a new JSF page. I'll call it as index. Now this is my new JSF page. I'm going to create a simple form with just a, a label and a text area and one command button. Okay, so let me create a form. Now inside the form, I'm just going to create a, a panel grid. And the columns, I'm going to give it as three because I want it in uh, same line. So inside panel grid, now I will display the label. I have a label, then I have a, a text area. I'm going to give an ID for this text area because I'm going to execute only this text area. Whatever I type inside the text area, when the button is clicked, I'm going to display in the web page without reloading the page. Okay, so I'm going to give a unique ID for this uh, text area. So let me call it as input message. Okay, so I'm going to give the uh, size of the text area. Uh, so I have to give it in terms of columns and row because it's a text area. Okay. Now here I'm going to create a bean and I'm going to map the bean uh, with the value of the text area. Okay, so later on I will map it with the bean. Okay, now I'm going to create a command button. to give the value as show message okay command button is created now inside the command button when I click the button I want my Ajax to be executed so inside the command button I will write the Ajax code 
ajax now what i want to execute so i have to tell what i want to execute so i just want to execute my text area so i will give the id id of my text area and then i have to tell what i want to display just i want to display a text i want to display what text you type inside the text area okay so uh, so i have to uh, print the text and then give the id of the text in the render okay so let me uh, fill this later so this will be my ajax and the execute spelling is wrong now i will print what i want to display i just want to print as a heading so i will give heading h2 okay so inside the heading h2 i will just print whatever i type inside the text area so to print that i will just give output text so here you have output text just i'll take the text from the text area and print here okay so let me give a unique id because this is what i want to render so here i will give the unique id as output message so this is what i want to print and what will be the value of this one value i'm going to create a bean and link it with this okay so let me link it later on i'll just close this so in the render i have to give this one so this is a simple form so here you have a label okay and here you have a text area now whatever i type inside the text area when i click the button i'm going to display the text uh, in the web page okay so what will be your uh, uh, so in the ajax you have to give what what you have to execute what you have to execute the input text area so give what id you have given here give the id here and what should be your output output is nothing but i am going to display a text okay so what will be your output your output will be your output text give the id of the output text in the render okay so now let's create the bean and map the bean with this okay so right click i'll create a new cdi bean uh, the name of the bean just i will call greetings okay i'll change the scope to the session scope uh, package you can give any package name where you want to store your bean so this is your bean now so in the bean i will just add only one um, type private string the message okay whatever message i type in my text area now this is private so you have to insert the getter and setter method for this getter and setter method for this okay that's it now come back to the index here now in the text area you can map let me use uh, double quotes everywhere for uniformity reason i will change all my single quotes to double quotes okay so here i'm going to map my text area in the value field i will map it with the bean so i will write hash the name of the bean is uh, greetings dot i'll map it with message okay now in the output text in the output text i have to check whether that message is null or not yes so if it is not equal to null i will display the message if it is equal to null i will display an empty string right so i have to enter some message inside the text area right so here i have to write an expression so here i have to check whether greetings dot message okay not equal null okay so put a question mark if it is not null what should i do i will just display the message so i will write greetings dot i will display the message else i will just leave it empty okay so if it is not null i will display greetings dot message so if you see here it checks the message is not null if it is not null it prints the message else it will print a empty string okay this is empty string 
So once this is done, now we can execute. Oh, I'm sorry, the command button is not terminated here. So we have to close the command button separately. Okay, so we have to write our Ajax code inside the command button. Because only when I click the command button, I want my Ajax code to be executed. So it should be within the command button. So you can see the output here. So you have a label, you have a text area and you have a command button. Now all are displayed in one line because we have given the number of columns as three. So now here you can type your message, welcome. And when you click the button, uh, okay, there is some error. Okay, there is no error, just uh, refresh the page. So you, here you can see the output just refresh the page you will get the output so now here you can see hello welcome i just type some message click show message without reloading the page you can see the output here yes without reloading the page is not getting reloaded it just displays the message whatever message you type here it just displays the message here without reloading this is what is ajax so if you come back to the code Okay, so just you have to tell which part you want to execute. So here we want to execute the text area part and then you have to specify what you want as an output. In the output part, we just want to display our output text. So here you can see, just you have to display your output text. Okay, so just a simple code. So hope you understood the session. Thank you for listening.